What's going on? Welcome back to another very special Haiti video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the special March offers that come with three brand new decorations. You guys can see in this picture. We have three offers, um, and they're just beautiful. So let's get right into the game and start talking about these decorations in more detail. Let's go. And I'm just going to start playing it first. So let's have a look what's going on around. Okay, that's uh, my neighbor. Let's see. We're having double XP boat even today. So I'm just gonna send my boat away that just got completed. I'm getting 1,100 XP from the single boat, which is just awesome. And I got a green voucher. So let's see what do we need for the next boat. Wait, uh, goat cheese toast. I just uh, used a lot of these in my boat, so I can't believe it's asking again. That's there's my pie in, and oops, my barn's full. That's insane. We're gonna put two bacon pies there. Goat cheese toast. So let's see. Where do we have the goat cheese toast? <gasps> no way, I need more bread. Oh my gosh, my barn's full too. Oh, that's so crazy. I really don't know what to do. So let's just harvest my crops. I got some sugar canes and some soybeans. Okay, that's cool. Now I'm just gonna have a look at the bonus materials. Let's see. What items do I get? So, let's see, what are we gonna- Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I can't believe I just did it. My barn's full. How on this earth am I supposed to get something? I can't, because there's no space in my barn. I literally forgot about it, you guys. Um, that just proved that you cannot do anything in the game when your barn's full. That means I need to make some space. So I have a lot of tools, which I, which I was saving for some purpose, but like I'm not sure if that's actually gonna happen. What that purpose is, I can't really tell you guys right now. You have to wait for that, so. Um, maybe I could sell some things that I don't need. Let's sell the soap. Uh, that was a soap. Yeah, I've just been making those because I'm trying to master my, uh, Bath kiosk, don't really need that much of the soaps, um, that donuts, I don't need to, so I think that's enough, I will be able to collect the bread, and I think I was going to make some, yeah, I was going to make some toasts, cool, and I do need more bread, so I'm glad that I'm making the bread, so, uh, we can just collect some mayonnaise over here, and I need a lot of olive oil, which I'm gonna be putting in my sauce maker, let's collect some honeycombs, and... I can just uh, make more items. I'm good on the beeswax, but I'm sure that I have the beeswax on my baby farm, so I don't really need to make it. Um, I'll just make more honey, because, you know, honey is important too. And of course, also trying to fully master my donut maker, which is uh, going to be really time consuming. You can see that I still need to run it for almost 1,200, sorry, 500 hours. Oh my god. Um, the products just take really less time, so I don't know when that's gonna happen. I just can't do anything. Alright guys, my pets are sleeping, so maybe I'll just wake them up, uh, and hopefully I would get the items. Yeah, cool. I just got bowls and an axe. That's nice. Let's wake up my dogs. I got a nail and a panel. Let's wake up my puppies over here. Okay, I'm getting the mine tools, I'm getting some screws there, that's cool. And I'm getting bolt, which is nice. Let's just wake up my guinea pigs and of course my normal bunnies. And I've got my peacock, which I think is already awake. And we could just uh, do that to our donkeys. Whoops, I literally forgot to plant something. So I'm gonna plant... I'm really low on the sunflowers, so I'm just gonna plant some sunflowers, and I'm sure when they grow, they're gonna look beautiful. And I'm just gonna go with some cabbage, because, you know, I always need cabbage to make items, so... Yeah, cabbage is really important. And let's just make our dairy products over here. So, I was gonna talk about the decorations, and you guys noticed the diamond packs, so they are over here. You can see offer number one, offer number two, and offer number three. Now, they're Hanami special decorations. Now, if you guys don't know what Hanami is, I'll talk about that a bit later. So first, let me just go to Greg's farm and see if Greg has these decorations or not. Because, you know, Greg always has the decorations prior to other people, so maybe we can just have a sneak peek. Let's see, um, special because March is coming, so of course the Valentine's is already kind of over. Um, all right, I just got a mystery box and some land material there, and I think Greg doesn't have them. We didn't update the Greg's farm. Yeah, I don't think it's there. Or even if they aren't, I just can't see you. So I'm just gonna get back. And before I purchase one of these decorations, let's have a close look at these decorations and see what they're all about. 
Okay, so I found this definition of Hanami online, and it says it literally translates to flower watching and is an annual celebration of Sugura in springtime. People gather around cherry blossom trees with family and friends to enjoy delicious drinks and food under the beautiful pink trees, often with petals gently snowing from the branches when in full bloom. Oh, that seems amazing. Like, imagine going to a garden and seeing all those pink flowers and leaves, and you're just sitting there enjoying the scenery. It's so natural, so enchanting. And it's beautiful. And I think it's actually uh, the Japanese tradition, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, these decorations are inspired from the Japanese culture. First, we have the Hanami path, which is just beautiful. And I'm actually shocked by the beauty of these decorations. Honestly, they're so gorgeous. And like the pink color is actually my favorite. And the white and the pink combination is like one of the best things in the world. So you can see it's basically like the little stones. We have some short leaves. And of course, those are the pink petals. Maybe they're from the roses or or like the cherry tree, I don't know. The decoration that we have is the Hanami bench, which you guys can see there are those cherry blossom trees. I think they're cherry trees. I'm not sure what the pink tree is because we do have another pink tree in the game. So if you guys know what these trees are, let me know. But it's a beautiful bench, the wooden bench with the plants, uh, you know, the trees around the pink trees. Uh, it's really nice. And I this time I do love the bench because usually the benches are really average, but this bench is just beautiful. And of course, the third and the largest decoration that we have is the Hanami Park, I guess. Not sure about the name, but you can see it's basically a little area that's been created with the grass. There are more trees, paddles around, so it's just beautiful. I so all three of these decorations are extremely pretty. Love the pink and white color combination that's been done, and they're just beautiful. And of course, they've been inspired by the Japanese culture. So my rating this time is 10 out of 10. Decorations are from Diamond Packs. That means they're going to cost you real money. They're not for free or for the vouchers, coins, or diamonds. You'll have to spend real money to purchase them. The decoration that I've chosen to go with this time is, of course, the offer number two as usual. It's nice, it's just beautiful, and it's affordable, so let's just get it. And I'm not really a fan of the pads, although this is beautiful, I'm not really taunting the decoration itself, it's pretty, but personally, I don't really like pads. I don't know, I think, like, if there are more, than that's fine, but like, five pads, they just don't really do a lot. So let's just purchase the offer number two. All right, I just got the beautiful bench, and of course I got 275 diamonds, and it's time to put this decoration out. So, let's see what it's called. All right, Hanami Bench. Wow, it's so pretty. We don't have a lot of pink color decorations in the game, so it's looking very unique, like a very different decoration. And of course, I was talking about this pink tree, you guys. Um, yeah, this, this one, it's, uh, I believe it's also for the spring. I was doing the spring decoration, the Valentine decoration that I've done. So this bench is really pretty, and I think I'll put it around um, probably somewhere here. Yeah, let's see where I can put it. Let me just store a bunch of beautiful here, because I, like, I've already created a little spring theme. So, oh my god, that just fits perfectly, perfectly, perfect here. <laughs> That's just so cool. Love the little design that I've created over here. So yeah, that was all of this video. I'm not sure if this was a quick video or this was a long video, whatever. I wanted to show you guys the new decorations that we've got in the game. They're March special offers and they are spring based, inspired from the Japanese Hanami culture. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also let me know which one of these decorations is your favorite. And and if you purchase, which one of these did you get? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more handy videos coming. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.